In today's video, we're going to do an endless summer resort tour of the Surfside Inn and Suites at Universal Studios. This video is sponsored by BCB Deals, local coupons and deals. So recently I had an opportunity to visit Endless Summer Resort Surfside Inn and Suites and today we're going to give you a detailed tour of the property. So this is the exterior of the hotel. Uh, it has a very beachy theme to it. The whole entire hotel has a really, really super beachy theme. Um, it's based off the Endless Summer movie as you can see and it's a, it's a really nice property. And uh, here is the front check-in area. Uh, it's got a really cool looking little like wavy type awning. Um, beautiful landscaping. How full was it? It was, it was pretty packed. Um, it doesn't look very packed here, but the hotel was, was actually pretty full. Uh, I think right now, uh, in the middle of summer, all, all the resorts are, are yeah. pretty jammed. But as you can see here, here's the, uh, uh, here's the lobby. And uh, we have some uh, assorted uh, dec decorative uh, items here. Uh, you know, they have like everything's like really like uh, beach themed, obviously. Uh, this is cool. These are actually real surfboards. Uh, and you'll see later on the whole entire resort is full of real surfboards uh, decorating the entire lobby. Uh, that wave feature behind the check in thing on both sides, that little wooden uh, yeah. feature thing is, is pretty cool. And right there, if you go through those doors, that goes directly to the pool, so we'll show you that later. Uh, the lobby also had a Starbucks. Uh, keep in mind, this lob, this Starbucks was jam-packed, so this is one of the few times where they didn't have a long line, but I had to wait for a very, very long time to get my Starbucks. Yeah, so. I can't imagine. And here's uh, another shot of the lobby. Uh, here you'll see that there's a ton of uh, places to sit where you can charge your phone or your laptop or, or plug in your devices. Uh, but it's, you know, it's really clean, really airy, really, uh, you know, like a really uh, surf feel to it. Uh, so moving forward, uh, this is the only cafe they had besides Starbucks they had in the restaurant, uh, in the, uh, the hotel. And uh, it's called Beach Break Cafe and it's kind of like a grab and go type place where you go in and you just pick what you want. And uh, they have a ton of different selections here, uh, you know, like dry goods, snacks. Uh, this was breakfast time, so they were serving breakfast um, and they had, uh, uh, they had all kinds of breakfast foods like um, uh, <clears throat> waffles, pancakes, uh, bacon, uh, assorted uh, smoothies. Was it reasonably priced? You know, it, it was like typical resort prices. Yeah. yeah. But it was pretty good food. It wasn't bad. We had, um, we had eaten lunch there, um, or actually ate dinner there, and uh, we had a, uh, like these avocado chicken sandwiches that were pretty good, and they were like 12 bucks. Alright. So here's a uh, more detail of the, uh, the little cafe. Uh, this is like a little seating area. Um, you can see it's like, you know, it's continuing that beach theme. There's tons of artwork all over the resort that have these like, these like waves and like surfboard and it just has, they really encapsulate that like beach feel. Like you really do feel like if you walked outside, you'd be at the beach. Cool. There's a little coffee stand. This is cool. They have these little yeah. seating areas all over the hotel where they, that. where it's like you know little places you can hang out. Uh, there's a bunch of surfboards back there. Once again, real surfboards all over the resort. Uh, there's some flat screen TVs behind this nice mural of this like you know this beach scene. And and those flat screen TVs are supposed to have like uh, live surf cams from all over the world, huh. but not working at this point. Here's some more decor. Some more. Um, surfboard decor, uh, really colorful, lots of fun. Keep in mind this is a value hotel, uh, so you know, um, the rates are extremely low. I think it starts at $88 a night. So for what you get, for what you pay for, you really get a nice resort experience. Yeah. But it's not luxury. It's, it's pretty basic, but they did a really good job of making it feel fun. Yeah, it's super nice. All right, so moving forward, we're gonna walk through those back doors I talked about earlier, and this is the pool area. And this pool area sits between the two towers of the Surfside Inn and Suites. Um, and if you have a pool view from your uh, resort room, you can look right down on it. And we're gonna show you a 
uh, a top-down view of what the pool looks like in a little bit. But uh, here we can see uh, this is the outside of the pool. Um, lots of room. Um, you didn't feel crowded? No, not at all. And there were a ton of people there that day. Could you find a chair? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Nice. yeah, there were no problems finding chairs. There are tons of places to sit. Um, oh, and here's, oh, a, here's a rabbit sighting. I thought I'd throw that in there. As you can see, it's lots and lots of room. Uh, it's just one pool. There's no like, you know, water slides or any kind of like lazy rivers that, that, that you get at a luxury resort. Uh, but but it does have a zero entry feature, as you can see right here, and it has a little splash pad area right there at the zero entry. And the kids, you know, it's full of kids. Kids are having a blast. Life jackets yeah, for the kids. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Uh, free life jackets for young kids who, who don't know how to swim yet uh, that work really well. My, uh, my son used one. And uh, this is kind of funny. I was taking a picture of this sandbar, but look at this lady right here. Uh, I was filming and bing, there, there she goes. She's like, why are you filming me, dude? <laughs> All right, here's the sandbar. Uh, this is directly next to the pool and this uh, serves like assorted uh, cocktails and alcoholic beverages. Uh, it's a really cool little place to hang out. Uh, here's the menu. Uh, typical, you know, resort cocktail prices, you know, on the high end, you know, nothing's less than 10 bucks, but uh, I didn't have anything, uh, but they do have a beer selection if you're not into cocktails. So there's the beer selection. And then uh, here's the view of the pool. And you, there's a little uh, seating area you can sit there and you can, uh, you know, just uh, check out the pool and just hang out, relax. Nice. And I see they have alcohol in a bucket for those who enjoy their bucket alcohol. <laughs> I do. And uh, here's uh, more surfboards uh, throughout the resort. You're gonna see tons of surfboards, and it's really cool because these are real surfboards. They're not. They're not little fake little uh, yeah. decorative pieces. They actually use real surfboards. All right. So moving back inside, uh, there's a game room. So if you have some kids that are obsessed with video games, they can go enjoy the game room. Uh, also not cheap, but uh, <laughs> still lots of fun. And uh, all these little uh, features, they have sanitation hours. So keep that in mind. They're gonna be sanitizing, sanitizing these places uh, from time to time. And there's a fitness center. And here's the top, town, top down view of the pool that I was talking about earlier. And as you can see, the pool is shaped like a surfboard. Huh. So that's really cool. And um, this is a really good view right here. This is actually the floor that we were on. And uh, I'll show you the view from our hotel room in a little bit. But here's the old wet and wild, uh, uh, lake that used to be behind Went Wild that they used to use for um, uh, uh, skiing and stuff. Can you access that sidewalk around the yeah, lake yes, from yeah. your, the resort? Yeah, you can. Yeah, totally. Nice. Here we have more uh, really cool, colorful um, surf uh, related artwork. All right, now we're going to go ahead towards the the suite. We had a suite. It was a, a, a two room suite. Uh, it had a um, a self-contained bedroom and a regular room with two king beds or queen beds actually and uh, there you go really bright and airy yeah. uh, I mean this is we had this for 120 bucks a night I mean that that's pretty good yeah I mean as you can see it's not like anything super luxurious but this is a basic this is considered a basic budget hotel but it was for what you paid it was a really good experience yeah it's a great size yeah. it has all, everything you would need uh, they had a lot of cool little organizational features like those hooks on the um, on the mirrors there. You can hang up your luggage there. There's a real surfboard right there. Nice little decorative pieces all over the, all over the room. Uh, these little lights that have this like, you know, it, everything's beach themed. So uh, there's some of my laundry, my underwear. Uh, so there you go. Uh, here's another um, uh, decorative piece in the hotel. Worry less, surf more. That's fun. Lots of stuff like this all over. That it really, really enhanced the theme of the hotel. Here's some more organizational features, some hooks to hang your things. Uh, this is a really great. The way they designed it mm. is like it's perfect. Like it's great for kids. Um, it's, it's. I don't know. I can't explain that how 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 well thought. It, it seems like they put a lot of thought into how they put everything together. I like having the beds in the main room and not a couch that you're just going to pull out into a sofa bed anyway. If you have kids, yeah, because they can just lay down and watch TV. That's what my kids would do anyway. So I like that. And there's a view with, uh, a view from the hotel room once again. Uh, here's this cool little uh, locker right here. It's not obviously you can't use it, but it's a nice little decorative piece. 
Uh, so that's cool. And uh, the room came stocked with a sanitizer, oh. of course. So there you go, endless summer themed sanitizer. And uh, all the plugs had USB and USB-C ports for your uh, your devices, so that's cool. That's awesome. Here's a little kitchenette area, little fun uh, picnic table, sit down and eat, mini fridge, um, came stocked with silverware and uh, condiments and um, stuff for the little coffee maker they had there. Uh, not the best coffee in the world, but you know, it's hotel coffee, so what can you expect? But if you need to get your coffee fixed in the morning and don't feel like waiting in the uh, 30 minute line for Starbucks, yeah. There you go. That's all you need. A little sink right there to wash your uh, wash your things. Um, microwave. Uh, it was really really comfortable. Mm -hmm. I mean, this place was was great. Stayed there for two nights. Uh, it was perfect. Uh, some shelving there to uh, put some of your dry goods. Uh, more silverware and plates and bowls. Came with the hotel. More uh, really fun, cool, colorful art artwork. And he oh, here's the vanity. Uh, stocked with hotel towels, um, two sinks, big, big mirror, uh, well lit, really comfortable. Uh, there I am, vacation dad. Hair dryer, yeah. it's important to know. Yeah. And keep in mind, this is a contactless um, resort, as, and when I say that, that means the, uh, the maids don't, uh, they don't come into your hotel room um, while you're there. So you have to request things uh, if you need more towels or anything like that. They're not going to come in every day. All right, and moving forward, we're going to check out the uh, the master bedroom. And uh, this was nice. Had its own flat screen TV, uh, queen size bed, I think, or king. Maybe that was queen uh, king. Uh, nice little coral artwork um, light there. More of these hooks flat screen TV like I said and it and it's gonna have that USB uh, U, uh, USB C port for your devices too as well there's the bed super comfortable bed super clean looks nice to have yeah. your own master space yeah. another great view from our room as well and uh, off in the distance you're gonna have some uh, crazy iDrive rides there you go if you're into that if you like uh, putting your life in danger, go ahead, ride that ride. <laughs> and there, there's the dockside resort over there. So, uh, and here's some more really fun artwork. I think the artwork really yeah. brought it all together. I love it. And uh, a closet with some uh, extra amenities, iron, luggage rack. Uh, like I said, really well thought out uh, layout and um, everything was uh, really comfortable and great. And so there it is. There's our review of the Endless Summer Resorts uh, Surfside Inn and & Suites. Uh, what do you think? I think that's amazing. For that suite, 120 bucks a night, yeah. that's incredible. Like the space, I've stayed in Economy um, Disney Resorts before and they weren't that nice. They yeah. weren't as nice as that. I think their pool areas are probably going to be more fun, uh, the Disney ones, because uh, the one here was, you know, is somewhat basic, but um, the price, I mean, you can't beat that. for a regular room, not a suite, it starts at $88 a night. It's $88 a night, yeah. folks, to stay in a themed resort at a huge theme park like Universal. Yeah. I and mean, that's, you spend $88 a night at any other hotel, you're staying at like, you know, the Motel 6 or something. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. What about parking? Yeah. Did they charge you or is yeah. it free? Parking was $15 a night. They had a parking garage so you could have covered parking, keep your car cool. But uh, yeah, we really enjoyed it. I'd recommend it. Uh, we want to check out the dock side. Uh, here it's very similar, but the dock side has two pools and they have more rooms, they have more buildings. Yeah. So there's more things there. Tell us what you think. Have you guys been to Surfside Inn & Suites? Uh, have you been to dock side? Uh, what'd you think about it? Uh, I really enjoyed it. All right guys, so thanks for watching the video. If you liked the video, please subscribe, like, and comment below. And uh, once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next edition of O-Town Review.